everyone, so today I wanted to talk to you about an artist I came across on Etsy. I've recently been looking into Etsy for jewelry and homemade candles and things like that. Just surfing for wire jewelry and I came across Molly Alexander. After seeing all of her beautiful pieces, I found her blog and I decided to go check out her blog because there was just something about her jewelry that made me want to get to know her a little bit more. She not only creates jewelry, she creates mosaic pieces and she's a mixed media artist. So she does so many other things and on her blog you can see all the different jewelry pieces that she's made. You can see the beads that she has and then she will show you from those beads the finished piece. So you just get to see how she creates these pieces and it's just amazing so I definitely do follow her blog as well. There's something peaceful and calming about her pieces. So after looking at a couple of her blog posts and really just loving her jewelry, I noticed she has a theory on the side of her blog and I decided to read it. I'm going to read you just a very small piece of this theory and it's not worded exactly the same. These are kind of in my own words but this is a general idea of what it is. And when I read this to you, you guys are going to understand why I felt the need to contact Molly and talk to her. All people have their hearts broken. By learning from those situations and working through them, we okay. grow character. By picking up the pieces, a person can't help but be changed. This change okay. is beautiful, resulting in a deeper understanding of others and gives us a chance to share. Showing others there is a way out. Now, for me, that kind of hit home because most of you know who have been following me for a while, I have had three miscarriages. I was going to move on and I was going to try and help other people in my situation. Oh. Now, yeah. you know, that happened in 2007. Yeah. We're now in 2011. And I've been talking with other women for quite some time now. So that's kind of why that theory hit home for me. And after that, I felt like I had to contact Molly. You can tell that each one of Molly's pieces are made with love and care, and she puts a lot into each one of these pieces. Now I'm going to show you two pieces that I'm going to review, and you are actually going to be winning one of these pieces. So when I first got this, it came in this really adorable green bag here, and a little ribbon right on top of it. And then you get the tin with this really pretty butterfly on top. So this is one of the bracelets that I fell in love with and had to contact Molly about and just tell her how much I loved it. And yeah. there was a couple other necklaces and things that she made yeah. and I just, I'm in love with all of her pieces. Yeah. So after talking to her, I decided that um, I would review this bracelet here and then I'm going to give it away. So I'm not even keeping this for myself, you guys. You guys get to win this bracelet that I have here in my hands. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a close-up look of this bracelet, but it's really nice. Is the bracelet up close. This is what I would consider the top of the bracelet. You can see that it has these very pretty red, kind of like cranberry looks to that. It reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> Those little holly berries you see. And then with the beads, it's kind of like wrapped around like a vine. It reminds me. Um, kind of like a vine. This is very like earthy bracelet to me and I love that. So here are the three beads that it has on here and you can see that the wire does wrap around these beads and again you end with those very kind of cranberry holly bush beads. The bracelet then goes around and you'll see that it's connected with a H shape piece. And at the bottom of the bracelet you have another one of those beautiful beads with the cranberry bead at the end where you would see the brown wire wrap around. Then you have this surprise detail here at the bottom. It's very, very pretty. I love that. And then it just continues to wrap around kind of like a vine. And you see another bead with that cranberry detail. And the way you hook this bracelet together, it is a S-shape hook. So it's very easy to put on. You just you just hook it around the other side and it fits very nicely. Also want to show you what she sent me as a surprise. I didn't even expect to get anything for myself. I just wanted to tell you guys about Molly and her jewelry and I love what she stands behind. I just felt the need to kind of tell you guys about her and I wanted something to be able to 
say, hey, look, you know, this is kind of the jewelry that she makes. She decided to send me some really beautiful earrings, and I was so blown away by that, and I'm really excited because I absolutely love these. Um, they're really unique, and again, I'll show you a close-up. And I think that these are absolutely beautiful. They are a very kind of like blue, black, and green color, so it's very, very nice. And then the back of those kind of, that's what they look like on the back. And it's just got the hook earring. And then same with this one. It's very, very pretty. These do not pull on my ears. They do not irritate my ears. I do have um, problems with sometimes earrings will be too heavy. I don't feel like these are very heavy. I think these are going to look great for fall, so I'm really excited to wear them. I would love for you guys to go check out Molly and her, check out her blog, check out her website, and if you do stop by, just let her know that I sent you because I just, I love her pieces and they just, they seem so peaceful and I just, I can't explain it. To me, they're just, they seem like very relaxing, very calming. So I love her pieces and I'm going to try and order some for myself for Christmas. But I just, I love her pieces. So I hope you guys do too. And I'm going to do this, the giveaway in a separate video like I always do. So go check out that video if you would like to win that bracelet. Alright, I'll see you all later. Bye.